Hello, I've been wondering what all the uh, the fuss is about the Bitcoin mining. Um, just got to see how easy it actually is. Now, I'm under no illusion that it's going to be easy. Um, probably going to lose money, but I'll find out and I'll pass it on to yourselves. So anyway, here's my rig. Didn't cost me a penny. Um, monitor, old monitor. Speakers, don't know what about them. It's uh let me see what this is. This is an Antec, um, 570 watt power supply, IDE, 20 gig IDE, 500 gig 2.5 sat, um, an Asus P5B Deluxe motherboard, and a Core 2 Duo 6400 uh, processor. Uh, just a USB card in there, um, some slots on the back, and a NVIDIA, um, let me just check, 7600 GT. So I'm not expecting anything from the graphics card or the processor. It's purely to keep the, the wattage down. Now this will run about 65 watts maximum. So that would suit me perfect. Uh, sorry, that's the processor. It actually runs about half an amp. Um, which is just over 100 watts, which uh, which is pretty good. But for that, I'll just switch it on just now. Eh, no, sorry, actually. Here's these bit uh, Bitcoin things, <laughs> USB things that do the business now. Used to be the CPUs that done the business, done the, the used the processing power of those. And then they went on to the graphics cards, and now these uh, ASCI things or whatever it is. Um, here they are here, they come in these boxes here, and here's one, they're about 15 to 20 pounds each, and this is going to do all the processing, so it's um, purely for Bitcoin, you can't use it for anything else, which is a bummer. Um, they do get hot, they run about 2.5 watts each, so I've stuck one there, which is directly in line to this fan, and the other one, and this is just temporary. I've got some other USB uh, PCI slots coming as well, so I'll probably try and keep them all here. I've just glued a wee bit of bamboo on, and I'm going to plug this in here. Just so that it's in line with the fan. It's fairly sturdy. And it'll get nice and cool as well. Oh, that's stuck. It was stuck the last time as well, but... Definitely stuck this thing. Quick update: the drivers weren't that bad to uh, to find actually. A bit of pain in the arse to start with, but there is a ECPI multiprocessor PC. Um, I downloaded it from Cellabs. See if you can see that there. Right, go. Does that mean go? <laughs> Right, go. Ah, oh, there we go. So we should start in a second. So we're just going to be running the two. Let's see what this goes up to. Here we go. 320. Both of them are 320. Um, for some reason the top gauge is... It's got different increments. It's saying I will get... Point zero 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 nine bitcoins per day. Right. Okay. So that's uh, that equates to point zero zero one eight for the uh, for the two of them. So I'll do some calculations. Uh, let's see if there's any change in this. It's still showing three pence per hour. Right. So it's. 0.51 ticking over doing absolutely nothing when I start it let's be press start just give it a second till it starts nothing yet tell you when it goes up but you can see when it goes up too there we go it's went from 0.51 Point five 
switch it off again. So it's quite a low power consumption. So it's 0.53, and then switch it off. And that's it down again. 0.51. So I would say 0.03 of an amp. 